What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing well. We're going to get right into it. Tyreek Hill, football player for the Miami Dolphins, got arrested, guys, right before the game. And I'm going to tell you guys what. It ain't what it seems, man. And I'm telling you, Tyreek Hill, you have just made my new segment of the show called Ninjas Doing Bad Things. This is what you do not do when you are encountering the cops. Let's get into it. Let's go. Controversy surrounding Tyreek Hill and Miami Dade police after the star wide receiver was detained during a traffic stop while he was heading to the game. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Chelsea Jones. This all happened a few hours before kickoff close to Hard Rock Stadium. And what is getting attention is this video right here. Hill being put on the pavement in handcuffs. We do have team coverage for you tonight, beginning with CBS News Miami's Joe Gorcho. He is live in Miami Gardens. Joe. Tonight Chelsea, we are, and Dolphins fans are still trying to figure out as well what happened that ended up with Tyreek Hill on the pavement as they left the game. Two things were on their mind. One, excitement they won, and again, what happened with Tyreek Hill? And after the game, Tyreek Hill told reporters that he himself was still trying to put it all together as to how he ended up on the pavement in handcuffs. Cell phone video shows Miami-Dade police officers telling Tyreek Hill to get out of his car. Doing um, what my uncle always told me to do whenever you're in a situation like that. Just listen. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Just listen. Moments later, another one shows Hill face down on the pavement, surrounded by officers as he is put in handcuffs. It happened so fast that it caught me off guard. You feel me? Officers then walk Hill to the curb, where seconds later, another officer appears to force him to sit. What if I wasn't Tyreek Hill, bro? Like, worst case scenario. Why do you believe the police put you in handcuffs? I have no idea, for real. Uh, no idea. No idea, man. It's crazy. It wasn't disrespectful, you know, because my mom didn't raise me that way. MDPD says it detained Hill, cited him for careless driving, then releasing him to go play in the opener. I look, they saying that's Hill, that's Hill. I said, oh my God. Pamela told us she watched the entire situation unfold. Maybe 10, 15 minutes later, that's when uh, the other football player pulled up. And he was saying, twin, you all right? Defensive tackle Calais Campbell also said police put him in handcuffs. Miami-Dade Police Director Stephanie V. Daniels in a statement Sunday said she initiated an internal affairs investigation. One officer involved has been placed on administrative duties while the investigation is being conducted. I should tell you everything you need to know then. Dolphins fans left the game happy for the win. Fins up, we're going to the Super Bowl. Free Tyreek Hill, let's go! supporting Hill after what happened. You didn't have to cuff him, you had to put him on the hot, hot pavement. The pavement was burning hot and they stuck him down there on that ground. They just broke my heart. Probably upset him and made him play harder. Main reason why we came to the game is to watch Good him. Job. So I'm happy he was able to pull through and get yeah. in the game. Seems like you forgot about it, just okay, let's play. Able to talk to my wife, calm down a little bit. And I was straight, man. Cause I know at the end of the day, I still got a job to do. And we did reach out to MDPD to get a look at the body cam footage following Hill being put in handcuffs. We have yet to receive that video. Live outside Miami Gardens in High Rock Stadium, Joe Gorcho, CBS News, Miami. Well, check this out, guys. I got the body cam footage. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something, man. It ain't always what you think, man. It is not always what you think. People out here crazy, man. People out here crazy. I don't understand why we can't just do what we're supposed to do. This whole BLM thing, man, just have completely taken over our country and have messed up the minds of black men. Black men, y'all should know better. Y'all already know how cops treat us. I've been in this particular situation. Look, and it was not warranted on me because I am not the cat that's going to just like just aggravate cops. I was raised better than that. I was not raised in the hood. Seriously. <laughs> but you got a lot of black men that were raised in the hood and they were raised to fear cops and treat them a certain way. So it, it just gets nuts, man. But I got the body cam footage. I want you guys to see this. Let's get to it. Let's get into it because I'm going to tell you something. The body cam footage tells a completely different story. 
Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for your boy. Let's get this thing popping. Hit me up in the comments. I will hit you back. All right, let's go. And so, guys, here we go. This is what happened right here, man. Look at. Let me tell you guys something, man. With the minute you start disrespecting cops, and look, and like, look, man, look. I see both sides of the situation. But the one thing you're not going to do, Tyreek Hill, is get out here, man, and try to make it seem like it was all the cops' fault because it wasn't. This was all you, brother. They pulled you over for speeding. Let's get to it. Let's go. Watch this, guys. I want you guys to see how Tyreek Hill provokes these cops. Let's get into it. Now, why would you do that? Why would you do that? The cop is just doing his job, and the best you can do is tell him to not knock on your window like that. And on top of that, in your interview, what you just said with the press, you said your dad told you to just put the hands, put your hands on the wheels and just be cooperative. It is complete proof right now that you were lying to the press. Am I right, guys, or what? Huh? Yeah. Why are you out here provoking cops, Tyreek? What's going on, man? Huh? Let's roll. And he just provoked them again. He said, just give me my ticket. What you going to do? Like, basically, just giving the cop hell. This makes no sense. This is weird. Am I right, guys, or what? Huh? A completely different story from what Tyreek was telling the press right before the game. Make it make sense. This is weird. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Keep your window down. And right there, the cop just told him to keep your window down. And the reason why the cop is doing this is for his safety, for the cop's safety. There's no telling what Tyreek has in that car. Seriously. He could have a pistol fall, I know. Am I right, guys, or what? I've never been pulled over by the cops. The cop comes over and asks me for my information, and I let the window back up. I've never done that. I'm sorry. I don't care if it's rain, sleet, snow, or storm. I don't get it. I don't get it. But this is what happens when you're getting paid big bucks, and now you, you, you're privileged. Let's get it. Let's go. Hey. Keep your window down. Keep your window down. I'm going to get you out of the car. As a matter of fact, get out of the car. He provoked them right there. He provoked them right there. Am I right, guys, or what? This is provoking right here. And I know you guys heard Tyreek. I know you guys heard him right there. Watch this. Watch this. Keep your window down. Keep your window down. I'm going to get you out of the car. As a matter of fact, get out of the car. Give me, give me that. Get out of the he just told him, don't tell me what to do. That's, that's what I heard coming from Tyreek's voice. This is crazy, guys. This is crazy right here. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Give me that. We'll that freaking get out, window. Get out of the car. Get out of the car right now. You do something, you do it. I'm you understand? Up. I'm getting out. You understand? Not what you want, but I'm, what we tell you. I'm getting You're out. You're a little I'm confused. I'm getting out, bro. Too late. Too late. Too late. All right, bro, take Too me late. to jail, bro. Do what you got to do, bro. We are. We will. Good, good, bro. It hey, is good. Hey, hey. Don't worry about it. I hang up the phone. You stop crying. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Don't move. Good. And look, guys, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I know that there is a double standard in the matrix when it comes to white men and black men. There is a 90 percent, 99 percent chance that if a white male was doing this in the car with these cops, they would just let him slide and let him go. But we got to deal with it how it is. It is what it is. Am I right, guys, or what? 
We got to play the game. We got to play the game. Us as black men, we can't do this. I don't care how much money we make. We can't do this. We're not afforded this type of privilege. I don't care who you are. <laughs> it is what it is. You are poor ninja when you are poor ninja, and you are rich ninja when you are a rich ninja. It is what it is when you black. Seriously. They all always see you the same way. But we can't do this. We can't do this. Let's go. Set him up. Being on my window like you crazy. You set him up. Why y'all being on my window like y'all crazy for? Hell, yeah, yo, 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 bro. Bro, what's going on? Bro, bro, yo, bro. Dude, being on my window like he crazy. I ain't do nothing, twin. Crazy. I don't want to be on your side, bro. Hey, don't park there. Don't park there. Hey. And I'm just, like I said, guys, I'm just looking at it for what it is, man. I'm just looking at it for what it is. These cops are concerned about their safety as well. These guys have a dangerous job, and I'm not trying to side with either side, man. It is what it is. But I'm just going to be honest with you, Tyreek. You were wrong, bro. You were wrong. And what you told the people at the press is something completely different from what they have on body cam. Am I right, guys, or what? Seriously. <laughs> Look at it a little more. Let's look at it just a little bit more. Like, subscribe, hit me up in the notifications, guys. Hit me, hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comments. Let's get it rolling. Hey, what? Hey, call Drew, brother. Call Drew. Hey. I'm not going through that. I'm not going through that. What am I doing this room? Hey, listen, listen. Take it back in the Hey, hey, listen. Hey, man, they got Tyreek. The cops over here beating on them, man. They over here beating on Tyreek. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. His boy is making things work. Is this not feminine or what, guys? Uh, real, for real. This is crazy. He just said these cops are beating on Tyreek. Make it make sense. And the, and it's, the body cam footage completely shows that Tyreek is being resistant to arrest. And it didn't have to start there. Tyreek was being a smart ass when he was in his car. And my right guys are what? Seriously, he provoked, he provoked the cops. He provoked the cops. Seriously. Let's just call it what it is. Let's call it what it is. And I guarantee you, all the news media and everybody's going to get behind Tyreek Hill and make it seem like it was the police fault. Seriously. And that's what's been going on right now. Let's go. Tyreke, Listen, man. big man. Don't park there, man. Just get in hey, the yo, car. Hey, yo, Drew, you got to go, man. Just get in the car. Right up, right up the side on the side of the aisle. Hey, get in the car. You're parked at the middle of the street. I'm in the car. You gotta go before you get a ticket. Hey, I don't, I'm in not the driving. car. Not Who's the driver? I'm this is my car. All right, move. All right, I'll take that. You gotta move right coming, now. Man. Let me have your I'm license. Coming. You're gonna take it too. I'm coming. Let me have your license. You're gonna take it. Let me have your license. I'm leaving. I'm not playing. Let me have your license. I'm leaving. Yo, what's your going license on? right now. What's going on? Your license right now. You're not gonna give me your license. Hey, You're not gonna give me your license. I'm leaving. Let me have your license. Your license right now. Hey, your license right now. Or I'm gonna lock you up. Your license right now. He just told me to. Your license right now. You're dealing with me now. Your license right now. We're not playing this game here, man. All right, go get your license. Come over here, don't fall off the side of the road. No, 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 bro. Then this dude here with like, man, I'm already rich. I don't even want to say Come on, bro. Open your legs. I didn't know you see what you said. Open your legs.
Just let him lean forward a little. And this guy looks like he's he's his agent. He has to actually come on the scene, and it, he, he's probably Drew. I think that's who it is. But Drew actually had to come onto the scene and calm this black man down. Make it make sense. Am I right, guys, or what, man? Ninja's doing bad things. There you go, guys. There you go. There you have it, guys. Give yourselves a round of applause for coming in for another episode from the Duran Elliott Podcast. Guys, it is what it is, man. I'm sorry. You have to play the game. If you're a black man living out in these streets, living in the Matrix, period, I don't care what status you're at, you have to play the game. You're not white. Am I right, guys, or what, man? Seriously. Thank you guys for coming in for another episode from the Duran Elliott Podcast. I will see you guys on the flip side. Tyreek. I'm sorry, brother. You were absolutely wrong. It is what it is. Thank you guys so much for another episode. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Hit me up in the comments. I will hit you back. Peace.